Welcome back to More About Decor. I'm your host, LaVon Falbo. Normally, we don't do painting tutorials on More About Decor, but and we're, we're not today, but we're gonna talk about a technique that you can use in your furniture design and accessories. So today we're talking all about transfers. So different companies make transfers, but my favorite, of course, is Dixie Bell. Uh, the Bells and Whistles line, they have transfers and all kinds of products, stencils, decoupage paper, silk screen stencils, but my favorite are the transfers because they really allow you to be creative and make a great impact on your piece uh, in no time at all. So let's dig into uh, the transfers and I'm even going to give you a little sneak peek of a project that will be uh, probably up on our step-by-step -step this Saturday. Enjoy! So here's the lineup. First up is the cacti and succulent transfer. This is a beautiful transfer. And next we have the Alice in Wonderland transfer. Again, really, really cool designs. And then we have the Tropical Leaves transfer. I'm itching to use this one. I haven't yet. It's so pretty and colorful. And then the Boho Soul transfer. We've used that a few times. And the Field of Flowers transfer. This is a lot more versatile than it looks. The Floral Romance transfer. Again, this one's a little more versatile. I haven't used this one. It's so pretty. And then we have the Hot Air Balloons and Clocks transfer. This one's really cool. Very colorful and also versatile. And then the Lace transfer. I've used this one and it's really pretty. And then we have the Latin Floral transfer. I think this one's so cool and colorful. And again, very versatile. Next is the Magnolia Garden Transfer. I love this one and I've used it a few times in a few different ways, as you'll see coming up. It's really, really pretty. The Nautical Life Transfer, haven't used this one for all you uh, ocean lovers. And then the Steampunk Transfer, I have an upcoming project with this one and I have used this one before. Really cool vibes with that one. The Sunflower Transfer, and I did use that on a project that you'll see coming up. So here's a dresser that is done with the Cacti and Succulents Transfer. This one's so pretty. There's a video on my YouTube channel that is under the playlist of Step by Step that shows the detail of how I did the drawers on these. Um, I wanted to make these two drawers very similar so I had to uh, mix and match a little bit so I make a template and I'll put the link up above so you can just click on it and check out that video and it'll also be on the end screen I think this is a pretty piece and I also used the scraps and did two tables so there's kind of a matching set going on in the store right now This one's the Magnolia Garden Transfer. I think this one's pretty versatile because you can use it on different color backgrounds to get different effects. So here I used it on Silk's Conch and I think it's beautiful. And you can layer these designs. This one was cascaded down asymmetrically. And then I used the Lace Transfer on the inside and also there's a curved piece that went beautifully across the back. Now here it is done on Palmetto from Dixie Bell's Chalk Mineral Paint line. And this has a totally different vibe and different effect. So, you know, it's, it's very pretty. You can put it on whatever way you like. And here's that Field of Flowers transfer. It is a four piece transfer that you can put all together and then, uh, it makes a complete design like a canvas, but you can be creative with this and use it sort of as a backdrop and layer some other transfers on there. Now here are some scraps from the Latin floral transfer. I did a video on this on my Tuesday talk where I took an abundance of shoe boxes that I had and repurposed them for some decorative storage. So I love the way these boxes turned out 
and it just goes to show you that you can use any size project with these transfers. They're so easy to cut apart, especially this one. It's very versatile, and I'm actually working with it right now. This chair was one I did in one of our Dixie Bell challenges. I used the Boho Soul transfer and also the Steampunk transfer. And I think they made kind of a cool mixture of thoughts. There's a whole theory behind this chair. <laughs> Here are some more scraps coming up. I used these on our vintage forged earrings. Those are Alice in Wonderland scraps. And I'm going to be doing a video on Vintage Forge, so make sure you uh, stay tuned for that. Those are from the Boho Soul. Okay, so here are those sunflowers. This is such a pretty piece, I think. Um, and I used templates to extend those sunflowers in different ways. So there's a video up. Um, on one of my step-by-steps. You got to check that one out. I'll link that one too and that way you can see. I'll link the playlist for my step-by-step -step so you can check that one out. And again, here's some of those earrings that have a little scrap of the sunflower. And those ones have the boho sole. So don't ever throw any of them away. Here's a little fun I'm having right now. So I did some of the silk screen stencils and you'll find that these transfers coordinate beautifully with the Dixie Bell Chalk Mineral Paint line. All of those colors you can find in there. So right now I have taken the Boho Soul transfer and I've painted over it with some of the coordinating Dixie Bell paints. And then if you'll notice at the bottom, I'm getting ready to put on some of that Latin floral. So make sure you stay tuned and watch the results from that one. I think you'll enjoy that. It'll be pretty exciting. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at LaVintageDecor.company and on Instagram we're LaVintageDecor and on Facebook we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well.